we do thank you that you hear our prayers. We thank you that you are merciful and kind. We thank you for your grace that you give us. Lord, you heard our prayers, both spoken aloud and those that we brought to you from within our hearts. And Lord, we just pray that you would just do what you do so well, and that is continue to be involved with humanity, because even if humanity does not perceive you, you are there working. So whether we as Christians perceive you or not, you are there. Lord, we especially lift up to you um, Sally and we, we pray for healing for her, Lord. We pray that she goes to rehab, that uh, she would just get stronger and stronger every day and be able to come home. We pray for, for Charlie Collins and we, we pray that he'll be able to, to walk again, Lord, and that, that pray for the family that's struggling and that they'll be able to get the house where it needs to be for him, Lord. Give them guidance, give them direction, Lord. Send, just bless them. Bless them with everything that they're going to need, Lord, to, to provide for Charlie at home. We pray for Daniel, Lord, who's going through chemo. We pray that you would just surround him and he would fill you with him. Lord, we, we pray for Luann and Denise. And Lord, you know what's going on with them. And we just pray that uh, you would touch them in a new way, in a special way. That they would hear you. That they would know that you were uh, there. That you would help them through whatever struggle it is that they're going through, Lord. We thank you for having Brady here with us this morning, Lord, and we thank you that her surgery went well, and we pray for, for quick healing for her. We thank you for having Cheryl over here with us, Lord. It is such a joy, and it's such a joy to have her back singing with us again with her beautiful voice. We pray for Chrissy's dad, Lord, who's come home from the hospital, Lord, and he's still not doing well, and we pray for restoration. We pray for healing for him, however that may look. We continue to pray for Pearl Grant, Lord, and, and, and their strokes and seizures and everything else that's going on with her health. We pray that you would be with the doctors and guide them the way that they need to go to give her a healing that only you can give. We pray for Debbie. We pray that she'll be able to get into this, this, this program, this research program, Lord, and that they will find a cure for her cancer as she tries some of these, these new things that they have out there. We pray for all of those who have a crisis of faith, Lord. We pray for comfort and healing and hope for them, Lord, as they wrestle with whatever it is they need to wrestle with. We pray for Tracy, who's, who's, who's wrestling, Lord. We celebrate, Lord, the beauty all around us. We thank you. Forgive us when we get so busy with our lives that we don't see the beauty around us that you have created for us, for our enjoyment. Lord, we celebrate children, and we thank you for the sound of children in our sanctuary. May you just grow louder and louder with more and more children. But most of all, we thank you for our risen Lord Jesus Christ. It is through him we have salvation. We have redemption. We can have this relationship with you again that was broken in the garden. And Lord, we pray the prayer that he taught his first disciples. But when they asked them, Lord, teach us to pray, he said, well, when you pray, you need to pray as this. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and glory forever. 